Fifty years ago this week, the flood of the century turned the Rogue River into a raging brown monster two days before Christmas, when a string of warm rainstorms dumped on a recent large snowfall across southern Oregon. The river peaked 14.5 feet above flood stage early in the morning of December 23, 1964, a record 34.15 feet on the gauge, with a stunning flow of 152,000 cubic feet per second in Grants Pass. The last time the rogue flooded any higher was 1890, according to city records. Huge swaths of the rogue Applegate and Illinois River valleys were sinking mud pits in the aftermath, Recorded in the Daily Courier, mud, slime everywhere, walls and entire houses vanished, debris everywhere, and still a lot of water. Flooding occurred in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, California, and Nevada, but Southern Oregon and Northern California were hit the hardest. The tales of damage from the Eel and Klamath Rivers in California are legendary, and the Daily Courier ran a photograph of the devastated town of Klamath, California. The storm killed 40 people in five states, caused $1 billion in damage, and left 7,000 people in Oregon homeless. No lives were lost in Josephine County, however. Today, Lost Creek Dam, 40 miles upstream, provides flood control that would have knocked off 25% of the peak flow, according to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The rogue still would have been at least 8 feet above flood stage in 1964. You can read more on this story in the December 21st print and online editions of The Daily Courier. When you're looking for serious buyers, go with What Works, a Daily Courier classified ad. Call 474-3711 today.